Hi and welcome back to this channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Bootstrap 5 grid system. A grid system is a graphic design term and it is usually defined as a structure made up of horizontal and vertical lines that are used to arrange the content of a design. Bootstrap's grid system uses three main predefined classes, which are the container class, the row class, and then the column class. These predefined classes are used by web developers to build layouts of all shapes and sizes. And also, thanks to these Bootstrap classes, you can align your website elements or content in a responsive way. Here on the screen is an example of how Bootstrap's grid system is used. So I will save this code and then open my index.html in my browser. As you can see here, the portion of code will create 12 columns with equal width. So one thing we need to note here is that Bootstrap grid system allows up to 12 columns units across a web page. But it is not always required that you would use the 12 available columns. For example, if you want to use only three columns, all you will need to do is to delete all of these columns here and then just leave these three columns. If I save this and then refresh, as you can see here, automatically Bootstrap Grid System is going to create three columns with equal width. Also, you can group the columns together to create wider columns by specifying the width of each column. So here is how you should do that. For example, here, as we say that Bootstrap allows up to 12 columns, so we will say here that we want to give it the unit 2, here 4, and then here 6, and we will save. Now, if I come and refresh the web page here, as you can see, I'm having three columns, but each of these columns is having a different width. Okay, all this is based on what we specified in the code here. So you always have to remember that you need to make sure that the sum of all your column width adds up to 12 or fewer. For example, if I change this value here, 6, and I give it the value 8, you will see that when I refresh the page here, the other column will come down here. If I bring it back to 6 and then here I change it to 6 as well and then refresh my page here. As you can see, at the top I'm having two columns and down the third column will be put because if we add up all these width, we won't get 12, we will get 14. Okay, so if we put four here, save, then you will see that we will get all our three columns in a single row. So we can also define the width of a column based on breakpoints. So I'm going to delete all this, and then I will write some code. So I have just copied and pasted this code here. Now let me explain what we have on the screen. First, I have a container class here, then a row class, and inside I have my 12 columns. And here, XXL, XL, LG, MD, SM, XS are the breakpoints, and they are denoting the different sizes of the screen on which our web page will appear. So one, two, three, four, six, twelve here are representing the sizes of the columns. So for example, column XXL-1 means that this particular column is going to occupy one unit on an extra large screen. The second class here, column XL2, means that this particular column is going to occupy two units out of 12 units on an extra large screen. Column LG-3 here means that this column is going to occupy three units out of 12 on a large screen. The next one is column MD-4, which means that this particular column is going to occupy four units out of 12 
on a medium screen. And here column SM-6 means that this column is going to occupy six units out of 12 units on a small screen. And then here we have um, column XS-12, which means that this particular column is going to occupy the entire screen on an extra small screen. Okay, and down here we have BG warning, which is another bootstrap class that will help us give a predefined background color to each column. So now if I save this web page and then refresh my browser, you will see what will happen. Okay, so here I have 12 columns and then now I'm going to reduce the size of my browser window to simulate various devices screen sizes. Okay, so as you can see, when I'm reducing, then you can see that the alignment of my columns are also changing. So as you can see, the grid system helps you build responsive web pages. So you can use all these breakpoints to determine how your web elements or the, lay the, the, the layout will look like on various device screens. So guys, that was it concerning the Bootstraps grid system. And I hope this video was informative. Let's meet in the next video.